Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League Round of 16 Group A. We got Raj starting in the bottom left-hand corner as the red Protoss bottom right-hand corner. We got Hedgek starting as the Grey Zerg. This is going to be on Apocalypse, where I'm trying to think what this reminds me of. So you got, look at all this space. Massive amount of space between this and what is supposed to be the natural expansion here. And then a really gigantic wide open natural expansion. Is this supposed to be the third up here? Yeah, the third huge low ramp and wow, quite a bit of distance between these bases. Big open field, uh, mid map that's unbuildable and some ramps. This almost, this reminds me of, um, yeah, so people are saying Silphid in chat. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Tau Cross or something along those lines as well, or Polypoid where they've got it's like they widened, they made Polypoid three player, widened this, and then just made a massive amount of space. They added some like ascension like space for drops and whatnot uh, in the mains and towards the naturals. That's just a really wide space to try to. I mean, there's a lot of area to build, which is nice, but at the same time, look at how much dropping could happen in between here. And we'll see what the front door blockade looks like. Rod's checking out the 12 o'clock. And we are seeing, it looks like an overpool opposite side from Hedrick. This has been very, very popular from Zerg players recently. And I'm wondering if this is why there's been a push away from the gateway first build and into four. And it looks like we are probably going to see forge first. We might even see a 12 Nexus here. Raj being very, very late with the forge overall. Overlord going to spot it. And hmm. honestly, if I saw the forge coming down this late from Hedrick, I might save Larva to go ahead and get the uh, initial six out. But it looks like instead he's going to go ahead and walk out and he's engaging the probe. Let's see if he goes for it. Nope, going to go for drone cycle instead. Send out a second drone to try to deal. I never, this is one aspect I do not understand. So you open up spawning pool, but you don't build initial zerglings and the drones get spotted. So now Raj, you can cancel that cannon. Isn't going to, but he could have. I'm going to go ahead and drop that Nexus. Yeah, the probe uh, had eyes. And only two Zerglings uh, being built. So Hedrick, hmm, still a better player than me. I should note that by like a wide, 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 wide margin. Overlord is sitting between the natural and the main in the meantime, away from that cannon. It's got a lot of space it can sit to get information as well. Gateway on the front. That still leaves a pretty sizable pocket to the north, I believe. And it looks like we have a drone immediately going to grab... Is that third before gas? Three base before gas. Ah, okay. Three base before gas from Hedgek, which will give him pretty rapid... A lot of larva to work with and a pretty strong economy to follow up off that overpool. Fill in the uh, workers. That being said, uh, Raj will be in a pretty good economic position. Getting his assimilator and pylon. Let's see if he decides... Having spotted... The later gas around three minutes. Let's see if he decides to skip the cybernetic or skip not the cybernetic score, the Stargate. I've seen a lot of Protoss players doing that on later builds. I don't know if this is blockaded or not. We do have that one cannon there, but no zealot as of yet as well. We do have a cybernetic score being built now. Now the zealot probe making its way across wants to try to check the drone saturation. No drones really saturating yet there. Zerglings making the way back across. Try to get eyes. It looks like it is going to be a straight tech to lair. From Hedgek. Overall. Doesn't preclude the... A Hydroloscope in her, but... I, I don't think we're going to see... Uh, we're probably just going to see that standard four hatchery shenanigans. It's been a lot of kind of... Uh, Adjustment and mix around it. That probe taking a lot of damage. I don't know how much longer it's going to be for life. A zealot going to go ahead and march its way out. I don't know if it's going to check that third. A few additional zerglings have been produced. Overlord kind of... I think the Overlord might have seen it cross map. Stargate constructed in the background for Raj. No investment in plus one weapons. Yeah, the zealot able to discover the third hatchery, but... We'll be able to... He's going to pocket back here, so might be able to deny some mining or force some additional Zerglings. Zergling speed being upgraded as well, and we are going to see, yep, very quick migration to 5 Hatchery. From Hedgek, right now he's 
basically going to have three hatch hydra. Very, very old school. Zealot. Well, trying to reposition around, taking a lot of free damage on shields as it goes, but able to reposition. Raj chasing down. Oh, not able to get a Zergling kill. Now it's going to end up in a less advantageous situation. So nice Zergling cycling. So they'll heal back up before they're ever, ever in a fight again. And Raj, yeah, going for, looks like Bisu buildish play. He's going to go ahead and does the Overlord scout it? Nope, never mind. Cancel that. Going for Zealot Leg Speed. Not sure I like the Zealot Leg Speed opener without going Gateway first. So we'll see, and he's dropping an additional cannon to defend against the large number of Zerglings making the way this direction. It's a lot of Zerglings, actually. That second cannon necessary. Corsair tacking away at the Overlords to go ahead and limit supply. Hedgek going to go ahead and back off. But yeah, I, I feel like there needs to. Be, this necessitates another gateway at least to really make that Zealot leg speed worth it. Otherwise, you have. Of just not a lot of zealots to be able to make something happen. Hydralis in the meantime making the way towards the front. So this is going to just be pure. I thought there was going to be a forward full uh, push back to four hatch, but no. Okay, there is a fourth hatch building in the north, but it's going to be four hatch Hydra with range and an attempt at a seal in, I assume, from Hedgic from here. And I don't know that plus one weapons is going to finish. Templar Archives dropping now. So, the, yeah, I don't like this play from Raj. So now dropping that second gateway, but the Citadel of Adun, Zealot Leg Speed delayed, which means, okay, he's got Zealot Leg Speed and a single Zealot, well, three Zealots, to utilize it. And I don't think that provides him a lot of benefit here in the mid game compared to, say, uh, faster Templar Archives and faster Psystorm or something along those lines. The Zealot Leg Speed will help potentially move in on top of the uh, Hydralisks. He's expecting a bust. So pulling a lot of the probes off the line. And Hedgek, ooh, gonna lose that Overlord. So actually that Dark Templar now, with that Overlord getting picked off, opens up a Dark Templar to go ahead and clear that front, should it be produced. But now, yeah, these Zealots have leg speed. They will have plus one weapons, but they just aren't gonna have the numbers really to make a lot happen. The three Corsairs being pinned to the south in the meantime. Fifth hatchery, so... Move back to five hatch Hydralisk and a tech to layer. And Hedgek backing off entirely. I think recognizing that a Dark Templar could could cycle out. And instead gonna go for more defensive Zerg style play. And forced a lot of cannons out from Raj. And now we're seeing so now we're seeing a, a gateway flood. But I feel like that Zealot Leg Speed could have waited. Overall, maybe a misclick. Or maybe it could be that Raj was so accustomed to playing the gateway first opener that he just it kind of latently just did it. Kind of one of those brain fart sort of maneuvers. Hydralis able to defend. Over there is a slightly exposed overlord here to the north. The Corsairs pocketing themselves in the meantime. It's not five Corsairs, it's three, which is a, a threat. But Raj does still want to preserve them. But instead of going... Interesting. So instead of going for a lot of Zealots to follow, he is going for High Templar. So expecting to need to play more defensively as far as the third base turnaround. Additional... So up to six hatchery now, plus one weapons, working for Hedgek. And I think part of the problem for Raj is the movement towards the third is potentially going to be too slow. He's not going to get enough economic damage done with the Corsair. And Hedgek, in the meantime, is just going to be able to filter in the drone. He's got a very, very strong drone count right now. And I expect that to continue. And he's just going to be able to potentially grab additional territory, just have a swarm. Like, he's even on supply right this second. Raj hasn't made any movements to grab an additional base. He's got all the gateways now to produce additional units, but he missed uh, a lot of timings. Does have a Dark Templar wandering towards the north. Zelt leg or Zelt leg speed. I believe Overlord speed is complete. Raj, at the very least, is going to be able to deny that temporarily. Lurker tech morphing. I don't know how long. So that's at least a small win. Raj checking the six o'clock. He can go ahead and try to take the six o'clock, but I don't know that he's going to be able to hold it for all that amount of time. And this is double evolution chamber in the meantime, where it's again against a single forge. Certain. Never mind. We have double forge, but the. 
Back end forge is somewhat quiet here. Range being upgraded. Zealot's trying to clear out some vision mid map. Yeah, and there's that Dark Templar getting wiped out to the north. And now Hedgek, yeah, just able to move out on the map. And he. It's one of those situations where Raj needs to either grab a base or attack into Hedgek to try to stop this, but I don't think he has enough to do it. And because Hedgek has a really strong economy and a lot of troops, yeah, there's not a lot of map control, so he might end up getting denied out additional base. It looks like Raj going to go ahead, potentially go for a drop in between this, but that shuttle, is it going to get spotted and taken out? I'm not sure if it got spotted. Hydeville is taking some free damage as they're wandering uh, back towards mid-map. We, have, we do have some lurkers here behind this, and this, so Corsair Escort with the shuttle along the southern area. This could be big and could get Raj right back into it. It looks like I think that shuttle was spotted because we've got a handful of Hydralisks to the bottom right. Six o'clock base again being denied. Raj, I think, does want to move towards the third because he's built, well, he's got a lot of idle probes, but he's building a lot of probes in between, so he needs a lot out of this. So Dark Templar being unloaded. We also have a potential storm in the midst of this. Dark Templar, yeah, just kind of heads up. They're going to get cleared out. So Dark Templar died. No drones dead. Simultaneous attack on the front, clearing the cannons. And it looks like Raj, while he was microing through that, is neglecting to size storm the front when he really, really needs to. Looks like there was some size storming of drones, but I don't know that was sufficient, nor worth losing all of the cannons and potentially the High Templar out on the front. That forge is going to get wiped out as well. So Hedrick just A-moving his army. That shuttle's been wiped out in the meantime. Just A-moving his army into the front. Raj has a bit of a supply lead because of that gateway flood. Does have observers, and it looks like he is going to be able to bust out of this. So Hedrick may be overstepping his welcome. Follow-up army coming in to try to support and defend. Slight upgrade lead for Raj overall. And now that, yeah, this just isn't going to be sufficient hydralisk, it looks like, to prevent... Raj from being able to push out. So Raj actually threw... I thought that was going to go a lot worse, but it looks like... So able to size storm a bit. Hedgek not microing a lot of his army on the front. He lost a forge, and that was basically it. And with the gateway and macro behind it, now he's going to be able to go ahead and grab his 6 o'clock. So ending up ahead of Hedgek overall. So complete reversal of fortune. Waiting for uh, another drone cycle or two. Hedgek does have that... He is going to still be a base ahead. Hive tech here. And it looks like we're seeing adrenal upgrade as well. This is something I... We've seen... Uh, maybe this is kind of the, the modern Zerg versus Protoss thing where we're seeing more of a faster move to Hive to get that adrenal upgrade support, particularly against the Dragoons mid-game. So rather than taxing the High Templar and picking them off with... Uh, with Mutalisks instead skipping Spire Tech altogether and trying to do the pick off with Lurkers. Raj moving forward. Decent size storms. Mid map. A flood of, of troops from both directions. A little bit of an empty size storm there from Raj. And it's Zerglings versus Dragoons, but it looks like there's plenty of troops from Raj to go ahead and repel this and continue to attack forward. The Observer was not picked off. He's got a lot of Psystrom in the bank. And Hedgek in trouble now. Raj all of a sudden just has a massive supply lead. Still has the upgrade lead. Plus two weapons is just kicked in. No plus two weapons yet on the Hydralisks. And all of the bases to the north are at risk. Plenty of observers to support this. We don't have Defiler tech out as of yet. Looks like the Zerglings with the Adrenal upgrade has finished. But they're out of position, and now we're seeing some emergency sunken colonies being dropped if Raj just, yeah, moves in. Looks like he's going to be able to clear a lot of this out. The Zealots marching all the way on top of the sunken colonies. Some Zerglings are able to get on top of the Dragoons to the back end edge, but not in sufficient numbers, so able to kill a Dragoon or two, but the majority remaining. The Zealots storming everything else. And now the drones fleeing, and Hedgek... Ending up getting some drone size stormed on exit. And it looks like he's at least going to end up losing three hatcheries, which is a huge loss at this stage, particularly because he's already economically behind. And Raj is not done. Continuing to, to dive in with the Zealots. 
Going to be able to take out that evolution chamber before additional upgrades finish. Drones trying to defend themselves against these zealots. Additional emergency sunken colonies. And Raj now with triple the supply just walking in. And Hedgick, yeah, GG. Where I thought he was in a strong position at certain points. Just totally getting flipped. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.